Guys, what up? Welcome back. I've attempted to make this video like four times now, and I'm constantly trolled by bots. But welcome back. This should be episode 15. We're on the map. We're in our Ogre Mound location, Alliance Duskwood, right here where my cursor is. We've got some updates. Look at my mini map. I'm um, running a couple more add ons just to make things a little more clean. Um, I know I've still, once again, you guys, you guys looking at this, you guys like, holy shit, there's a lot of shit on the screen. There is a lot of shit on the screen. Uh, I've got so much stuff going on here, and there's going to be more. So I've been constantly um, tinkering with my add-ons just to kind of make my job as a hunter easier. So I also have these reminders that I've set up with weak auras. Um, I'm going to babble here for as a hunter for a minute. So I have a reminder right here that I have my mark of the... Uh, um, my markup, so Hunter's Mark is up, and then my I am running Sniper Training, which gives me 10% more crit on my shots, as long as I've been standing still for six seconds. So I've added that to my uh, add-ons and my uh, reminders. So you guys can see when I have my markup, this will be up, and then when, I have, when I've been standing still, my Sniper Training will pop up right here. And then uh, when my Arcane Shot is ready, um, it pops up right below it. So it's kind of like all three of these steps have to be on before I start using my shots. So um, that's kind of my, my babbling with my hunter. Um, there's nothing else has really changed. You guys can see um, I'm at 110 agility on my guy. I still really haven't um, run hardly any dungeons yet. I've just been grinding, grinding, grinding. So... Done babbling about the hunter. Uh, we're going to talk about this farm. So when you guys have hit 25, you guys really do need to find a location that you like to grind. This is one of those locations that I enjoy grinding. The reason I do this farm is because these ogres have a chance to drop a recipe. There's a plus eight um, alchemy recipe that these guys drop for strength. Um, it only drops from these guys. I'm not sure if Horde have a recipe that they get um, that's only to them or if they have ogres somewhere else on the map that, that's easier to get to than and pretty much like... This is a contested zone, but this is more of an alliance zone. And I just haven't seen very many um, Horde over here trying to grind on this. Huh. So this has been uh, they probably have a different spot that they can get this recipe from or maybe it's called something completely different um, but out of maybe the two hours that I've been here I've gotten two copies of the recipe so far How did he die? I don't understand. Come on. Um, I'm sitting here babbling. Uh, pet hunter or the pet dies, but I was trying to help these uh, these other guys get out of this cave. Um, like I said, that there's gonna be so there's the chest right there. This is the other thing about this um, this farm is there's four locations that outside of this cave so uh, in this mound that uh there's a, a chest that's always up so as long as somebody hasn't cleared it or like or uh let me rephrase this uh, a bot is not here taking them or somebody else isn't grinding out here um this is an amazing spot to farm because uh not only of the ogres and getting the recipe or uh, getting greens or getting other recipes from this spot, but there's always a chest, so this guy's gonna 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 loot it. Just like this guy did. So a rear random person doing a doing their quest.
out of range. Um, so you're gonna have to put up with this kind of random stuff and, 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 um, there is a quest out here. So people are constantly going to Darkshire and looking for the stars is, uh, inside the inn and it sends people out to this cave. So there's constantly going to be people out here trying to, um, clear into the cave. And I've probably been asked probably a hundred times already if I'm working on this quest. So there's gonna be constantly people out here. Um, and, and right now it's amazing. Um, this is the first time I've been doing this and showing this where there isn't a bot out here. There's been a bot out here nonstop for the last three days. And uh, it's just something you have to be aware of. Uh, probably all the locations that are really good for grinding or getting greens or recipes or whatever, you're gonna have to you don't have to put up with that stuff. Um, so just to be aware of. So without what, what I'm going to share this real quick. So this chest, this chest can spawn behind this log over here where, where it just was. It can spawn right here. Um, there's a, sp a spot back here. A third location is right over there. So right where my cursor is right next to this ogre. Uh, underneath this tree and the uh, shadow and then i'll show you the fourth spot i think maybe i already pointed it out i'm not sure uh, but we'll head back over to the uh more of the east side of this mound and uh, i'll show you the where the this the uh, the chest has a fourth position it can spawn so we'll kind of clear over here and work our way over but with the recipe, like I said, the recipes, the cloth, the greens, the chest, you could easily get, I mean, I'm, I'm probably averaging uh, doing this probably 10 gold an hour. If I have this, you know, just by myself, I get the chest, you know, four or five different times. Um, you know, the mana pot cell, the cloth cells, the bolt cell. Uh, come on, come on. I'm, I can never multitask. <laughs> you guys can see. Uh, Pet has died. I've, I've tried to record this like four different times trying to get this information out to you guys about this grind. We'll get this guy, uh, my pet, nice and healed, and we'll head over here. So the fourth spot that this chest can be is over here. And the fourth spot that this uh, chest can be at is right over here. So you guys can see where my cursor is, okay? Uh, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six mobs here. And right behind this bush in the back is the fourth spot the chest can be. So, like I said, if you walk, if you walk up on this, on this farm and there's nobody here, you can assume that the chest is up. It's either here or it's a, one of those other three spots I had showed you. And just like it's happening right now, this spot can get a little spicy. Um, this guy, I mean, we're level 25 and this guy back here is, can be 27 or 28. They can aggro and get three of these guys on your, you know, even as a hunter, um, your pet, cannot tank three of these guys you know so you really got to be kind of careful um with your pulls they can the that the the this one that this third one we killed is always going to be a melee one but um all these other ones can be casters so sometimes you're going to get possibly two casters 
and the third melee guy that's can be level 28 hacking on on your pet um, it can get a little a little sketchy on this pole so just be aware of that this spot can be sketchy because you can get three guys on your on your pet and right where i'm standing right now is inside this bush like right here is where this chest can be this is the fourth spot so um this is the, and, and that's one of the main reasons why i enjoy doing this this farm is because of the chests uh getting greens getting blues getting bolts and and uh, getting recipes are just a really amazing not only off the ogres but from the chests too And I don't think I've actually touched on this. The last thing um, that you need to consider when doing this farm also is if you're running mining or you're running herbalism. So this is a really good spot. Um, as you're sitting here grinding, there's King's Blood, there's Mage Royal, there's there's um, a Bruise Weed, and there is Briar Thorn and Swift Thistle that you can pull out of here too. So any given time, there can be three or four herbs up, a chest up, and then all of these mobs up to grind on. And just a, a really, really good spot for you to just kind of settle into. Come out here for maybe an hour a day after maybe you've done a couple, run a couple of dungeons, you've done uh, a raid, and you want to make some uh, extra gold. Uh, you come out here, maybe get a couple of recipes, and things to sell. Um, this is what I do. This is one of my favorite spots. And uh, I wouldn't change it. Um, I'm going to be making more of these videos for you guys. that you guys can kind of see. Uh, maybe some reflection here. So, uh, once again, we're out here on the Ogre Mound. Uh, you chest every 15 minutes. Herbs, greens, cloth, mana pots. Um, pretty good grind I would, I would i would consider calling this at least 10 gold an hour because you're going to get you can see my bags you're going to you're going to be getting things that you can turn around and sell um cloth now we have not got any greens but then the uh well look at this we have got a horde that's kind of funny making an appearance so i hope you enjoyed this guy's um a nice little farm here i'm going to be making more of these uh, I've appreciated uh, the feedback that I've gotten and the support. And until next time, guys, this is Gambler. Um, peace out.